Gina Hu. I'm Sherry Ya. Hey Sherry, what will you do when you're welcoming a guest at home? I'll greet them, ask them to sit down quietly, and serve them some tea. Huh, why is tea instead of water or other beverage? Honestly, I don't know. Today, let's talk about this very traditional and important culture of tea. Let's go! If you ask any Chinese, what are the seven necessities to begin the day? They must tell you firewood, rice, oil, salt, sauce, vinegar, and tea. So you can tell tea is a very important part of the Chinese culture and daily life. Yes, China is the hometown of tea. Most of Chinese people drink tea for every single day. So it's like coffee in the United States. Exactly. Unlike Western people drinking tea from tea bags, for Chinese people, a decent way to make tea is to use tea leaves. Tea leaves is the tender leaves from the tea trees. And Gina, do you know how to make a nice pot of tea? First, we put a spoonful of tea leaves into a teapot. And then we pour in boiling water and cover it with lid. After a few minutes, the tea leaves are open and loose. And you can smell the great aroma from the tea. And then the tea is ready to serve. There are different kinds of tea. The very common ones are green tea, lü cha, oolong tea, oolong cha, and black tea. Hong Green tea, Lü Cha, is now fermented during the process. One of the well-known green tea is Long Jing, which means dragon well. Oolong tea, Oolong Cha, is the semi-fermented green tea. Black tea, Hong Cha, is a full fermented tea. And you must drink it before, because the tea of bubble tea made with black tea and milk. I love bubble tea. Me too. Tea is a huge topic in the Chinese culture, and it is impossible to finish it in this short video. Maybe we could talk more about it in the future. See you next time. Bye! Bye.